you are now live at the Warm and Toasty Club. Online memory afternoon. All four of us have been sitting here puzzling ourselves. Why Facebook were throwing us off? I think it was because they only had my face on and it broke the screen. So what <laughs> I've done is I've invited Jeanette, Tom and Cliff as if onto the screen so that my face doesn't break the internet. And we're going to see if this works. At the moment, we're getting to 25 seconds. Let's flip over. I'm going to flip over to um, Facebook to see if we actually have gone live. And I'm talking really quite loud. And it appears we have gone live. Yes, we have. It's working at the moment. Here's the thing, lovely people. Facebook are stopping our broadcasts for unknown reasons. We've tried everything. We, 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 are, we are not a movement. We're a community group. And we're trying to reach you. We're not doing anything underhand, Facebook. So please keep us going. Keep us on. See if this works. We've got a lovely show for you this afternoon. Let me say hello to Jeanette, Tom, and Cliff as if. Hello. How hello. are you, Cliff? Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> That's... Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're definitely on Facebook because I'm looking on the computer at the same time. Yeah, I'm so kind of scared to take any of you off. Yeah, Cliff's uh, <laughs> watching it online. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't panic. Um, well, if this works, what we've got is we've got a show for you this afternoon, an actual show, Online Memory Afternoon. I think it's up to episode 43, something like that. Here's the memory of the week, something for you to ponder, and we'll talk about it in a moment. Who were your favourite singers or your bands that, when you were growing up? Who did you particularly like? Anyone that we might not have heard of? Um, anyone we might have heard of? We've, of course, got the Retro Raffle. We've got... We um, Cliff, I nearly said his actual name, Will. It's Cliff as if he's going to be singing us some songs for us, hoping it lasts that long. Got, <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly, Cliff. Um, we've got um, the Retro Raffle coming up. We've got Vintage TV Show of the Week is back for another go. A couple of big hitting quizzes. quizzes. Um, we've got Jeanette's Poem of the Week. We've got all sorts of good things coming up. Let's show, yeah, that's right. That's right, Cliff. Shall we try? Let's see if this works. Giving Cliff a, a rest for a minute, taking him off and seeing if we're still broadcastable because it might have been his face that was saving us. <laughs> Let's try. We're going to see you in a minute, Cliff, as if. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still what a live. lovely backdrop he's got. That's so lovely. It is a lovely backdrop, yes. Do you think that's backstage at the Apollo or something, or you think that's actually his house? That's the green room here, isn't it? Yes. Oh, all right. Warm and toasty green room. Warm and toasty green room. We have it specially yeah. fitted. <laughs> um, maybe, rather than chit-chat, let's just get on straight with the features for as long as we're here. Let's get into the retro raffle. It's the retro raffle. It's coming to your screen It's the retro raffle Never has been seen It's the retro raffle And it's coming It's coming to your screen Yeah! It's coming It's coming to your screen Retro raffle Facebook live Yeah, yeah Yes! We're here, the Retro Raffle, once again. Thank you, thank you for your patience, everybody. Um, I don't know what happened. We tried four or five times to get on. We had nine seconds of Tom and Jeanette and Tom saying, can you hear me, which was really entertaining. And then they threw him off. I thought maybe it was my face. They threw me off three times, but I don't know. Look, the, com the common factor is Jeanette, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh <laughs> well, any time she was on trying street. to be as normal as possible, well, yeah. trying to be like I come everywhere. That, that is the common factor. <laughs> so, oh. have we got to keep Jeanette on the screen for the whole time, or off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe off. <laughs> no, yeah, off the time. we want her on. We want her on screen. <laughs> well, it's hello to Sandra, Jenny, Tom Hardy says we're up and running, and he's in the studio with us here too, Chrissy. Glad we are back. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Brian. Elmi, hi. Hi to Kim. Hi to Sandy. She is saying it is Jeanette's fault, which is very good of us. <laughs> well, we all, we all oh. put it out. Yeah. So we've got like lots... I'm a victim of you guys. 
<laughs> so we've got lots of bits coming up. I'm going to try and get straight into it just because we don't know how long this is going to last. What is going on with Facebook? If we go off, we'll try and come back. Don't press the same uh, video that you already had. Press the only one that's showing us live. If we go off at any stage, we've done everything we can to find out why we're going off. We don't know. We've taken out all of the cover songs with backing tracks, all of the videos. We've stripped it down to the bare minimum, and all you've got is us plus Cliff as if. So, three, uh, two questions in a scaled down um, retro raffle. Let me find some prizes. Let me find <clears> some <throat> prizes. So, this week, oh, look at Tom. <laughs> He's gorgeous. I've seen him up close. <laughs> He's right dandy as well. Um, Marty Feldman. Yeah. Marty, oh no, that's not a good look, is it? Seems a bit rude, do you know? That seems a bit outrageous, <laughs> well, Tom. Yeah, um, I, I feel he it's had an quite affliction. There, what I'm putting up he, with. He had an affliction, didn't he? I mean, all those people. What? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no, I thought it was bad eyes. Um, anyway, yeah. moving on. First prize we have uh, for 2D Vintage TV Show. <laughs> 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 now that's not technical that's Jono <laughs> uh, <laughs> no that's my fault sorry um, first prize up you can get a selection a bag full of they're in a box but you can pick broken biscuits as many as you want these were all the rage back in the 60s and the 70s and in the 80s 90s and 2000s and 2010s and um, you can buy them now in a big box of your own broken biscuits but we've got some for you these ones are from late 60s early 70s i believe but they're still good they're still good they're not gone soft or anything um we kept them in a special container um we have two questions the first question to win some of those broken biscuits i think it's an easy one who was the youngest beetle from the Beatles, obviously. <laughs> well, while I'm thinking about that, I yeah. I just had a cup of, well, I'm having a cup of tea and I needed a biscuit to go with it and all my sugar-free biscuits are gone, but I've got this big tin. They're not broken yet, oh, but um, smash really them. nice biscuits. Yeah, you might need to break them. Smash them. Well, in my mouth. <laughs> That's no. what I'm going to do. The nice little posh ones. They've got so, chocolate around them. Are you allowed those? Some today? of them. They've got chocolate on one side. They're really nice ones, stripy ones, which is nice. Very nice, yeah. stripy ones. No, I'm not allowed them, but, you know, it's been a week, shall we say. I'm having a yeah. cup of tea and I'm having a biscuit. Yeah, go mad, go mad in I'm lockdown. I'm in that kind of mood. <laughs> um, hi, Carol, nice to see you. Uh, Sandy says Ringo. No, it wasn't Ringo. Sorry, Chrissy, it wasn't Ringo. S Sandy, Sandra says Paul. No, it wasn't Paul. Jenny Lifko, the former queen of the retro raffle scene, now reinstated as the queen of the retro raffle scene, has, of course, got it right. Yeah. Elmi's got it right. Going to give you a second, just build up the drama. Kim's got it wrong. Sorry, Kim. Um, anybody else? Any money for any money? Come on, broken biscuits. Broken biscuits. Who wants them? Two pound of 20 broken biscuits. Come and get them. <laughs> No, well, we're just going to go with the right answer was George and Jenny Lifko got it right and Elmi, and they're going to split some broken biscuits between them. Go crazy, go crazy with those, you two. Well done, Jenny. Well done, Elmi. Well done, indeed. You deserve biscuits. You deserve biscuits in your life. <laughs> I'm just showing people how to do all this. Cup of, it's, it's Friday afternoon, it's the Warm and Toasty Club. Cup of tea, some nice biscuits, and, um, and, and Jono in, in entertaining us with his and Tom. and Tom and Tom as well. He's not quite as entertaining as you, though. <laughs> oh, Tom, did you hear that, love? No, <laughs> he zoned out from me. <laughs> what? Daddy... what was that, Jeanette? Did you I'm, say just something? The, I'm just holding the phone. I can't hear you, Jeanette. Yeah, I can't can hear. Take over the insults. I can't hear you, Jeanette. <laughs> um, and well done, Sandy, for getting it right after we said the answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good at that, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah blooming cheek of it. Um, right, the next question. This is, oh, I should tell you the prize. This week, it's been one of those weeks, I've got hold of a load of keys. 
all different shapes and sizes. All you've got to do is find some doors. We don't know what doors, but we hope a bulk load of doors will be coming in to match with the keys. But you can take these. I'll, they'll be in a little plastic bag, and I'll hold them up like that, and they'll be rattling as I go. Or I might put them on a key on my trousers and walk around the estate with them on, rattling, just for your pleasure. I would do that. Um, you can win all of those keys. And, again, you're going to have to supply your own doors, okay? A bulk load might come in next week, might not. You never know in this game. Um, in what the question, in what year did Sonny Sonny Bono and Cher tell fans I've got you, babe, in a song which became a cup an anthem for couples everywhere? I've got you, babe. I've got you, babe. That's how it went, something like that. I like that song a lot. I did a video of that in the summer. Did Very you? Nice. Yeah, me and Gary Leach. Was it you and Gary it. Leach of Gary yeah, Leach we fame? The, we did the vocals, we did harmonies and everything. We had wow. props. Gary Bono, I think. <laughs> and share alike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. I like it, I like it. Sandy Sand 1968. Uh, no, sorry, Sandy. You might need to yeah, wait till we say the answer before you answer. <laughs> A little tip there. <laughs> She's much better that way round, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, bless, bless. Don't be cheeky to Sam. No, she's Sam, good. She's, she's good. Yeah. Kim's really going good. 61. A little bit early, Kim, but a good try. Early. I think we can insult each other, but, but yeah, not we, the, can't, we can't viewers. insult the others. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> oh, right, I'm going away. Again. What's that, Tom? You might not turn up again. No, yeah. I know. No, no. I've got to watch it. She was she was a bit cheeky earlier on though. She was, yeah, she was. yeah. That was May, wasn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah. Go on then, off you go. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky as you like with Sandy. <laughs> she did apologise. She's she says I'll wait. She's waiting to see <laughs> if anybody knows. Do does anybody know out there the year in which Sonny Bono and Cher tell told sung the song I've got you, babe, um, which became an anthem for couples everywhere. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> Think middle of the decade. As I said that before, I said that actually, Kim's come up with the right answer. <laughs> Jenny, now the former queen, the retro raffle scene, you are wrong. You are two years out, Jenny. Sorry, just truth. Anybody else? People probably got fed up of trying to log in and we was like, well, and off, hello, and off. And they've gone walk about. <laughs> Just see Sandy's Sandy's still, still got it wrong. Look. Sandy, 1865. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you say I love one pay the rent. Um, I don't know why it's in that accent. But it is. Sorry, in the 1860s. Um, they all spoke like that, I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they discovered America. That's what it was. So they was... <laughs> That's it. That's it. Everybody yeah. was English at that time. It was done, it was done in London then. <laughs> yeah. It was with uh, Audrey Hepburn yeah, and Emrigins. Um, oh, yeah, it was Dickens, sorry. No idea, says Elmi. I like your frankness. Well, I'll tell you what, the prize is going to go. Let me just check my um, adjudication screen. And it's going to go to Kim Saunders this week. Kim, you are right. The year that Sonny and Cher sung I Got You, Babe was 1965. Um and you are going to get all those keys sent to you. You've just got to find the doors. So they're on their way to you. Sorry, Sandy, it was an 1865. Sorry, everybody else. Um, Sandy <laughs> says uh, she pressed the wrong number. Mm, I'm not sure, Sandy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and from 1865, as Sandy says, I've got thy, babe. Um, hi, just want to join you all, says Rosanna. Rosanna, how are you? You've hi. made it. Thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> 1965, that's that one. That was the retro raffle. Short and sweet this week. We're cutting it down. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when we take ourselves off screen, um, but we're going to put ourselves on screen and then off screen for, in celebration of this gentleman for our new feature, some interesting facts about. Um, so let's just take... Now, how am I going to do this? I'll leave him on screen. This is... This is going to be the jingle. 
we're all we're all at sixes and sevens today, so you must excuse us. We've got a new feature, and that is Dave on the screen, and this is the jingle. Is that, <clears throat> is that the new feature, Dave? He's the first person to take part. <laughs> Some interesting facts about you, what you've done in your life. Some interesting facts about you, the places you've been, the people you've seen. There we go. Lovely. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. First time ever I've had to do three different ones before I got the right one. First time ever. <laughs> um, even had to change the whole name of it just because I didn't like the name of the other one. It didn't work in a, a jingle. Um, yeah, so this week we're starting a new thing. Here's the thing. I, I called Dave and I said, can you tell me, it's Jeanette's idea, some um, some interesting things about you, Dave. And I recorded him on the phone telling me a few interesting things, which I'm going to play. And the idea of this is really just to celebrate you lot out there. Um, so anytime you like, I'll be happy to call you. Not like too early in the morning. You know, I'm not a morning person. But anytime I can give you a call, I'd love to hear some interesting facts about your life. And before anybody says, oh, there's nothing interesting about my life, nothing at all. Um, everybody's got a tale to tell, whether it's you've had a family, you've gone to uh, another country on holiday, you saw a squirrel. I saw a squirrel in the tree the other day, and he had great big nuts for him. Um, something like that, anything, doesn't matter. I'd just like to hear about people, and we want to bring that into the show. Um, so with that said, um, yeah, Dave, who's doing well, I hope he's joining us online. I'm not sure. I'm going to take us off screen for a minute and just play you the little recording that I have from Dave. Bear with me a second. Some interesting facts about... I'm come back because apparently Jeanette's told me we can't hear anything. Could you hear any of that? Is anybody hearing any of that? That was a little interview with Dave. What we've tried to do, I was going to put it on a video and do a little sort of photo montage, but because Facebook been taking down our videos and we're having to sort of second guess what Facebook are going to allow us to do, um, I thought I'd do it as a recording, but for some reason you can't hear that. So what we'll do, sorry, Dave, I'll invite Jeanette and Tom back on. It's all happening today, isn't it? Live or, live or TV on happening. the internet. That's the trouble. It's not happening today. It's not it? happening today. You wanna, we'll have to come back to Dave and I'll try, try and find it. another way. You want to try it while you're still on? Yeah, let's try it while I'm still on. Let's have a listen. I'm David Geary. I am, um, I'm actually known as Crazy Dave and that's me all over because I am. I want to say... Hello to everybody, seriously, everybody that comes to Warm and Toasty, well, used to come to Warm and Toasty, and the whole world I'd like to say hello to, because I think the whole world needs people to say hello to. Three interesting facts. Mm. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot about Oh, Christ, I forgot about that. I did that for 26 years. Yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. I had a wonderful life, bingo calling. Uh, 26 years. I did it in London, I did it in Claxton, I did it in, um, oh God, I forgot the name of it, Slough, uh, Alexbridge. I did, all, I did it all over. And it was absolutely fantastic. That's where I met my, my second wife. And I'm really glad that I was a bingo caller then because uh, we got together, being, me being a bingo caller. That is one thing. That is the main thing. The second thing that um, I, I, love, I love, I love music. It doesn't matter what the music is. 
I love it. As long as it's got a rhythm to it that I can move to, or I used to move to, <laughs> um, yeah, I love, I love it. I love all sorts of music. I really do. But I am a rock and roll man. That's, that's me. Yeah. Right. Right. One more. One more. One more. Interesting thing about me. I love to meet and greet people. I love to welcome people. I love to talk to them, just to ask them how they are, you know, and, and, and listen to them. That's, that's what I used to do at the 360 Hub. I used to meet and greet people. And it was absolutely brilliant. Yes, that was, uh, that's another really good thing that I can do. And I love doing it. Oh, it worked. It worked in a weird way. Um, we got you on, Dave. Dave, you're back in the gang. For anyone that doesn't know, Dave's been a volunteer with the Warm and Toasty Club. Gosh, it must be, I don't know, three years now, maybe. Um, he's shielding in lockdown. He's um, he's okay. He's doing all right. I speak to him once or twice a week. He's keeping his pecker up and carrying on the best as he can like everybody else. Um, and he was just the first person I called this week, so I thought, wouldn't it be nice to ask Dave just to sort of say a few interesting things about him. It was lovely to hear. I, I did see him um, when he wasn't shielding. He, he'd just had um, his test results and he was all clear because I think he'd had a, a bit of a scare that he caught COVID. But yeah. he got the results and he was all clear and he was out. And it was just lovely to bump into him at the distance with masks and stuff. But yeah, he was he was just so pleased to, to see people and <laughs> somebody he knows that he can chat with. Somebody he knows, He's a yeah. really chatty guy. He is a chatty guy. Um, and he loves his karaoke as well. That's one of the things he said. So if Dave, if you do, if you are listening to this at any point on catch up or whatever, um, you mentioned when I saw you that you wanted some CDs to. Um, to play on, on your karaoke machine. Let me know which songs and I will happily um, make a CD for you. I know he likes Roy Orbison. Crying <laughs> over <laughs> you. Crying. He doesn't sing like that. That's from uh, Only Falls and Buddy Holly he likes as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, and I it's the raining. <laughs> I ran the karaoke at his 70th birthday. Oh, yes. Yeah, it it was lovely. Do you remember? You were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, it was good. Good night. Good night. It was lovely. Dave, we send love. We send our respect and we send our hope for seeing you again in, in person soon. An actual physical memory afternoons. You know, there's that many people getting the vaccine. Maybe, maybe it's just a change is just around the corner. That's Dave. So anybody wants a call, who wants to tell us some interesting facts about them, please do um, let me know and we'll have a call. We'll have a call with you. Now, Jeanette and Tom, we've got a memory of the week. Who were your favourite singers or bands when you were growing up? Me first? The, yeah, the lady in the middle first. That's okay. the, sir, yes. sir, sir, me. Yes, me, the lady, me, yes, me. yes, the one with the stripy me, top. Me. Um, I liked uh, David Cassidy and I liked uh, David Essex later on and I liked Basic Rollers um, when I was young. So that's what I remember. Did you have uh, the basic roller outfit with a tartan yes. on? Yeah, because I could sew. I, I do dressmaking. In fact, behind me, there's a, a dressmaker's dummy that I picked up this week. I'm going to make some more clothes. Um, Yay. Yes, yeah, so I was. it was quite easy for me to uh, get tartan and just put it down the side of my trousers and round the hems and round the cuffs and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that was me. I was a roller fan. How about you? And the weird thing is that when you're little, I was probably only, I don't know, 10 or something, 12, 15, I don't know. Um, when uh, when you listen to songs a lot at that age and, and you've only got the radio, didn't have, well, I, think I might have had a tape recorder, and you just learn all the lyrics of all the songs and then don't hear them for 40 years. And then when you hear them, you still know all the lyrics of all the yeah. songs. I can't remember what I went in the next room for, but I can remember the lyrics to Bay City Rollers songs. And, and the funny thing is the ones that you really loved, or perhaps you heard a lot of and you hated, they take you right back to that time, don't yes. you? Yes. Oh, you? yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's good How about you, um, Thanks, Jeanette. Uh, the Beatles, really. I think I used to – my mum was a big Beatles fan. And so 
yeah, we just uh, just used to listen to the Beatles, a bit of Elvis. She was a big Elvis fan as well. Um, I wasn't such a big Elvis fan, but I did like the Beatles. Yeah, mm. that was my favourite. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. My brothers and sisters were. We used to have a, an Elizabethan record player and had seven inches that used to pile up, and there was always lots of Beatles in there. Mm. I think for me, probably when I was really little, it was Slade. Um, Come on, feel the noise. Um, and I I went to see a film of theirs called Flame. I think it was really, really terrible. But I kind of <laughs> liked it because the, the microphone had a flame in it. It was like a flame-throwing microphone. And I thought that was cool. But I didn't really think through, nor did they, that the implications of the health and safety aspects of having a microphone with the flame that points towards the face, you know. When you add that up, I hope no kids went home and tried it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I had Slade's um, and Come On, Feel the Noise. And uh, of course, they did a Christmas song as well. What else did, What else out there? You out there. Who was your favourite singer? Who was your favourite band when you were growing up? Um, I'm going to just read out Do you remember few. Alvin Stardust? Yeah. I'm just um, thinking, it, Sandy, um, Sandy Armitage says that she liked the same things as me. I, I quite liked Alvin Stardust. I didn't realise how old he was. Yeah, I, Benson, I think his real name was. But he had these gloves on and he had these great big rings on the outside of his gloves and he'd point at the camera and be yeah. really kind of possibly trying to be sexy. Can I say that? Very um, creepy in but, this day and age. But Yeah. yeah. He but was big, At the time, I liked the songs, but not particularly him. I thought I found him quite weird. Uh, better but I not really sing it. Songs. Better Could not you? sing other people's songs in case Facebook take us down. But like, <laughs> my shoe, shoe, poo, shoe. My kookachu. Kookachu. Mm. Oh, my kookachu. Yeah. yeah, I won't sing it. Let's see what other people. Yeah, you're right. What did you like? Um, uh, we do our best, Debbie. She says we're so kind. We do our best. Um, Sandy, David Cassidy, I think Jeanette mentioned him. I think my sister might have been into him. Was he in was he in a family as well? The Partridge family. The Partridge yes. family. Yeah. Gosh. He was so yeah. pretty. He was really, really beautiful. Yeah, really he was. Lovely hair. And, and I think he's, he's still around, isn't he? But with less hair and a bit yeah. chunkier. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. I know, you know? all of us. <laughs> Debbie's going David Essex. Oh, yeah, David Essex. Um, he was really good. Um, yeah. Somebody said the other day on Facebook, David Essex, um, the, the English Elvis, <laughs> which I thought was really? different. Oh. Yeah, because it's normally Cliff, isn't yeah. it? But um, right. of more of whom we'll see more shortly. Um, Chrissy says, of course, Cliff, Cliff for me in the shadows. Cliff Richard and shadows. Yeah, great. Um, Sandy is the same as Jeanette. Who'd have thought it? Never bought a single record of Bay City Rollers. Uh, like Tom, Sandra, Sandra, she likes the Beatles and, of course, Cliff, Elmy, Beatles and Elvis. Kim's David Cassidy was my idol crush, even had his picture on my pillowcase. Oh, blimey. Wow. I he say, yeah. Beautiful. Kiss the pillowcase. Um, loved watching the Partridge family every Sunday. Cliff as well for Debbie. She's got more choices. Chris here. Well, this is a shocking one. Status quo is her second choice. <clears throat> she likes it. She likes it. She la 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 likes it. Um, <laughs> Was that one of their songs? Yeah, I think so. And I Be can't think they, Actually, no, we'll never get no, we'll we'll, recognizable. <laughs> we'll get taken off. Um, Sandra says her daughters like the Bay City Rollers. Um, my brother liked them. My mum made him clothes with um, tartan on, um, which he was, seemed pleased about for about a year, and then he went off them. Sandy says, I asked my dad, who's your favourite composer? He said, oh, I think of all of them, it has to be Bach. I said, mine's Gary Glitter. <laughs> all right, then. She also loved Alvin Stardust, Jeanette. Yeah, I thought she would. I just knew. You know, I think we had similar taste. Carol, I'm surprised. Carol's status quo. Ooh. Did, no, she's, she's a huge status quo fan. Yeah, well, I, I was just thought she was more beat combo. And I suppose when in their early days, they were more beat combo, weren't they? It's the quo. Yeah. yeah. I think she quite liked the one that isn't um, Francis Rossi. Who died? Oh, what? Because it sounds so nice. What you're proposing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just once or twice. Alan, not Alan Parfit. Parfit, wasn't it? Yeah. Alan Parfit, I think. 
Yeah, he had sort of I liked long, long, he had quite long blonde hair. Long blonde hair, yeah. yeah. Which I also oh, like. there you go, Carol. They were one Carol of the first Kimber. bands I ever saw, Status Quo. Were they? Yeah, they were pretty good. Mm. I, I didn't somebody I don't know, somebody's bought me a ticket and said, Come along to this and I wouldn't have chosen to go and see them, but I really did quite like them. That's quite hard. That's quite a good question. Maybe you should use that next week. First <laughs> band. First band you ever saw. Yeah. First band you ever saw live. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'll try and remember that. Sandy's also going with mud and their tiger feet. <laughs> mud and their d- little dances, didn't they? <laughs> they? I can't do it here because there's not enough of me on screen. As my um, wife's uh, nan said, you take up all of the photo. Um, Carol's a headbanger. Who knew? And it is Rick Parfit. She's in love with. Keep oh, them Rick coming. Rick Parfit, not Andy. Yeah, that was Yeah, and, and Hilia. Hi, Ange and, and Ian. Both Sam Rick Parfit. Nice yeah, of you Rick, both to join Andy. us. That's all, right. all right. That's all right. It's about time. I don't know if he can hear us, whether Cliff as if is around. I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's let's there he is. Let's bring him, let's bring him to the fore, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Cliff as if. Yeah. Hey. Well, We've made it this far, mate. I well, this is a miracle, isn't it? It is a miracle. <laughs> It's, it could all stop now. It's all going to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be fine. I tell you what, let's uh, let's just give a warning to people out there. If we do go off, we'll start another one. Don't press to go on the same one again. We'll start another one. And the only reason we might go off is sometimes they don't like words from other songs being played. We're trying to get a license. We're trying to get it sorted. But Cliff has offered to bring himself to your living rooms, to your kitchens, to your bedrooms and your boudoirs. And let's just get him, let's get us out of the way and let the man do what he does best. We're so pleased you're with us, mate. Thanks very much for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Cliff as if. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Well, we're still here so far. So we better get started. A little tune for you, Jeanette. Here we go. Coo, coo, at one. I really love the things that you do. Come on and love me too. I really want my cook at you. Hey, there you go. So, listen, um, we did a, we, just a, a quickie. About uh, two years ago, uh, we did a memorial show for Alvin. Because, um, you know, he died of cancer four, year, uh, four years ago. And we did a big memorial show uh, for Alvin Stardust with his band. And a few stars from his past were there. It was absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. Anyway, so um, here we go. Now, I'm, I'm going to do, at the risk of uh, being taken off, I'm going to do my version of Bachelor Boy. Okay, so hopefully it won't sound too much like the original. <laughs> okay. When I was young, my father said, Son, I have something to say. And what he told me I'll never forget until my dying day. All together. He said, son, you are a bachelor boy, and that's the way to stay. Son, you'll be a bachelor boy until you die. When I was 16, I fell in love with a girl as sweet as can be. Then I remember just in time what my daddy said to me. He said, son, you are a bachelor boy, and that's the way to stay. Son, you'll be a bachelor boy until you die. As time goes by, I probably will meet a girl. And we'll fall in love. Then we'll get married. Everyone for the job. They'll be my turtle dots. But until then, I'll be a bachelor boy, and that's a week I'll stay. Well, I'm happy to be a bachelor boy until my dying day. One more time. I'll be a bachelor boy, and that's a week. I'll say yeah, happy to be a bachelor boy until my dying day. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
bachelor boy. Hey. Yeah, you, you, you. Did, you didn't break the internet. Hurrah. Hey. There, there is a God. There is a God after all. Absolutely. Thank so, you, mate. How are you getting on? How is things for you? Yeah, well, you know, it's been it's been tough, you know. Um, I've been uh, it's it, it kind of deprived of what I love to do um, for an early it seems like a whole year now. Um, I've been doing a few Facebook shows, which has kept me going and uh, kept me up because of the comments of people have been so lovely. Um, but I just want to get back out there, you know. Just want to get back out on the road and meet, see my friends and and uh, do the shows and just perform again live. That's what we want to do. And, and hopefully come back to the Warm and Toasty Club as well in Colchester. For sure, for sure. We'd love to welcome you back. Wouldn't it be lovely to be back in person? I must, I must say you all look very well. Thank you very much, as do Thank you. you. And uh, Jeanette, I'm, I'm impressed. You, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed that you went out on your motorbike a couple of days ago i did <laughs> and, and you I, I i mean i as you know i'm a biker too i do know usually between march and september <laughs> fair weather biker that's you <laughs> I, I, I used to be but these days i'm getting old now so i have to look after myself um but but i'm glad to see that you're not still blue like you looked on your picture <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold. I was I was doing actually a warm and toasty care package delivery, but it was you know quite a few miles away, and I was only doing one, <clears throat> and the top box on my bike just fits one of the boxes in. I thought, right, that's it. Give the bike a spin, and um, so I went out, and it, that was all right going out there. And I had so many layers on, and I've got silk lining gloves, I've got balaclava under my crash hat, <laughs> everything, the whole thing. But then when I got to see these adorable people we chatted for so long outside in their garden and I was standing there with my coat and all these layers on getting cold then and then I had to get back on the bike and have this really long ride and I hadn't got any extra layers so it's like extra wind chill factor I thought I would never warm up well well well, well done you that's all I can say thank you well, we'll be doing it again anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> anyway listen uh thank you for having me on today Oh, you're welcome. Let me read you some of the comments that people says. Hi from Anne. Hi from Pauline. Hi from Karen. Hi from Christine. Anne says Alvin Memorial was a great show. Hey, was you know that was a very special occasion. It really was. Yeah. Yeah, you were a cuckoo. Um, yay, Will. Nice to see you. Says Carol. Oh, that's great. Sorry, Will. Um, sorry, Cliff, as if I mean. Um, Sandra says, great. And sending applause. Um, Kim says, great song and singer. It's working. It's working, mate. Fabulous, Will, says Pauline. Oh, that's lovely. Applause from Elmi. Annie's just joining us. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. Nice to see you. Um, <clears throat> Pauline's talking with Anne, and Anne's talking with Pauline, and that's what it's all about, connecting people. Yeah, lovely. Um, and Debbie, um, first time for Debbie. Well, hi, Debbie. Hey, hi, hi to Debbie. Debbie, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to the gang. Hi. Welcome to the gang. <laughs> so, Mr. Cliff, as if, that was rather wonderful, and we've got you back for two more songs in a little while. Is that right? Absolutely fantastic. Quite literally. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, we'll see you in a moment or two. As long as steam holds out, we'll uh, we'll see Will, um, aka Cliff as if shortly. Now we've got time, hopefully, for the vintage TV show of the week. Vintage TV show of the week. Vintage TV show of the week. I know you love it. I know you want it. I know you need it. You're gonna vote on it. Oh yeah. Vintage TV show of the week. Here's the first one up. Sale of the Century. This week is two quiz shows from back in the day. Sale of the Century was a British game show based on a US game show, an American version of the same name. 
It was first shown on ITV from 9th of October 1971 and went through till November 83, hosted by Nicholas Parsons. Questions were worth different amounts of money to be won with the right answer, and contest yeah. contestants could buy merchandise at a reduced rate, reduced, reduced price, I should say. Let me just find something. I noticed there, I don't know how clear this will be. These were the sort of things that they were having last week. Um, sorry, not last week. When they had the show, the sum of the prizes, they had a record player. Um, they had a Burt Bacharach record, which, funny enough, <laughs> they had this Burt Bacharach record. Jono, Burt, Jono, Burt. Um, on, that, on that screen as one of the prizes on the show, which was lovely. Smashing the place up. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. Um, <laughs> don't move the chair back don't move the chair I'm going to crush those little robot things um, it, it started with the announcement I don't know if you remember it and now from Norwich it's the quiz of the week as things stood in um, 2016 there was a, a tally up of the 20th most watched TV shows and it was number 20 um, and it had 20 million viewers in 1977 20 million viewers you know I, i've got a thing as a comparison for both of these shows um these are the sort of levels they were getting 20 million viewers the chase which is a popular show now gets free between three and five million views and family fortunes which is sort of like a really big one of more recent times at its peak only had eight million so Sally the Century was a big thing for Norwich, big thing for the country, wasn't it? Did you watch it, Tom? I did watch it, yeah. Well, you know, you watched it when you... Because you, you didn't have control of the telly, did you? No. <laughs> so, yeah, if it was on, you'd watch it. I quite like, quite like the questions, I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a nice man, Nicholas Parsons. Quite liked him. Yeah. Do you remember I it, I can't Jeanette? remember any of the... Yeah, I do remember the show, but I only remember the... The opening, like you said, that you know, um, from Norwich, and I remember the. <clears throat> I think there was a, a some kind a of model of a silver there horse. Knight. There was a knight, was a knight on a horse, and, it, and yeah. then it was kind of turning round. That's mm. all I remember, but I can't remember anything else about the show. I didn't know if it was questions or no, no other memory. Yeah, you well, I, I remember you sort of um, answered questions, and that gave you a bit of money. I think you started off with a little kitty of some money. And then you tried to build it up to sort of buy some things as part of the sale. I don't know if he had one of those microphones that was a long bit of metal with a little tiny bit at the end, did he? I can't remember. Uh, I remember Terry Wogan had one of those. Terry Wogan had one of those on blank, I think. Yeah. Um, like a wand, a magic wand. A magic wand. So that's the first one. Let me take that off your screens. That goes against the golden shot. Do you remember that? The golden shot. That was with. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, it was a British television game show produced by ATV between 67 and 95, uh, 1975, I should say, with audiences up to 16 million. Gosh, 16 million, 20 for the other one. The show involved a member of the public ringing in from home and, gui and guiding a crossbow attached to a television camera to a target. It shot a bolt at an exploding target embedded in an apple positioned on the topical backdrop. The blindfolded cameraman firing the shot was Bernie the Bolt. Bernie the Bolt, yeah. Bernie the Bolt, do you remember him? It's most yeah, commonly. Anne Aston. Yes, uh, yes. Hostess Anne Aston was on hand to read out the scores achieved by the contestant. And, and the sign of the times, each, each month, a maid of the month. Maybe we should have a maid of the month and a hunk of, <laughs> and a hunk of the one. month. Um, oh, and you got one of those as well. Um, is that another one of your costumes? <laughs> Don't tell him about her costumes. <laughs> Don't tell him about her costume. Um, yeah, and Aston was a, a usually a, the maid of the month, I should say, was usually a glamour model of the era who would demonstrate the prizes and announce the contestants. And the show, the hosts, uh, most of it was Bob Monkhouse. And I think afterwards, <clears throat> um, Charlie Williams, was it a comedian? Was it Charlie Williams? I can't remember. Someone else handled it. Do you remember that show, Jeanette? Yes, absolutely. Much more so than Sale of the Century. Okay. I remember, 
I remember Bob Monkhouse at the time seemed to be on everything, but he was really very funny and he was very funny with his ad libs. And I found out later in life that he really was a proper genius comedian. But the show itself was quite exciting. And I think we used to watch it as a family and we'd be going, no, 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 left, no, too far. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I remember that bit. Yeah, so that was it, up a bit, down a bit. <laughs> I see it up a bit, down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I do remember it really well, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was quite yeah. Little. Just coming back to me now, you talking about it. Tom yourself, do you remember this one? Yeah, I remember watching it. Yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was quite frustrating, wasn't it, Bernie the Bolt bit? Yeah, yeah, because you, you go too far. It, you always do it better at, at, at home, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> so it's probably what kept people going, isn't it? I yeah, I think so, because I don't remember anything else about the show. No, I, I don't remember the, the May of the month. Um, I don't remember any of the questions. I just remember well, Bernie the Bolt. Weren't they called Dolly Birds in those days? I they might have been in your house, Tom, but we weren't allowed to say that in our house. That was swearing. <laughs> um, we maybe we'll bring it in. We have a maid of the month and a hunk of the month, and we're um, we dress up. We're, we're each of us are dress up pretending to be the maid or the hunk. Bad idea, John. Um, I am. Um, I ask you if for anyone that hasn't viewed this before, um, there will be counselling after the show. No, um, <laughs> anyone hasn't watched the show before, we ask, we give you the two choices and we ask you to vote. And your votes are counted up by Jeanette and the one with the most votes will win Vintage TV Show of the Week. So we've got Sal of the Century against the Golden Shot. Let's see what the good people are saying out there. Da -da -da. Um, golden Shot for Christine. Golden Shot for Rosanna. Sandra's going to sell her the century. Howell's with the golden shot. Mm -mm -mm. Brian's golden shot. Annie's precise. I vote the golden shot. It's nice and it, clear. I'm not going to make any yeah, mistakes. No mistakes. That. Yeah, exactly. To the point. It's as if she is Bernie the Bolt. <laughs> um, Kim's gone golden shot. And it says, yes, I just remember Bernie the Bolt and up. And down a bit. Um, so did I. It just came back to me. Anne's going golden shot. Debbie, I'm too young. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> outrageous. Um, she Debbie actually mentions earlier, she says um blankety blank. So she's very young. So um, I understand that, but you can still take part for fun, even if you don't remember them. And another Anne, Anne Smith, she says golden shot. Keep them coming in, keep them coming in out of those two. I noticed that Rosanna has said um, sale of the century and then a little bit later she's put golden shot. You might need to clarify that a little bit, Rosanna. You're not allowed to have two votes. It's <laughs> just not allowed. She's tried to sneak one past us there. Yeah, Cheeky. Has. Cheeky monkey. So <laughs> Rosanna, <laughs> yeah, tell us what one you want really, what one you vote for. What's your best? Um, what do we do? What do we do? We have a look on the screen and then before we go over to it, we should welcome back Mr. Cliff as if. Let me see if yeah. I can find him on my uh, area. Well, three, two, one, bring Cliff to the screen. There he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's uncanny. It's the hunk, of, hunk of the month. Hunk <laughs> of the month. Well, you, you, your own homemade version is very nice. Yep. Listen, um, the Masked Singer. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't talk about that show. I saw a clip of it. Oh, my God. That's all manner of bad TV, that is. That is. I saw, I saw um, a clip of it. Ooh. I've seen it advertised. I've, I've, I couldn't bring myself to watch it, but is it Same really bad? I <laughs> saw a few here. minutes of it, and it was it was probably the scariest thing that I've seen <laughs> for the second <laughs> half of my lifetime. You know the kids what? probably love it. it. I'd like to, I want to admit to you now, you've got to admit that I do like it. <laughs> Um, I thought you would. I, I I didn't like it the first time round, but they've uh, they've adjusted it now, and uh, it's it's actually quite addictive. So don't if you don't think you're not going to like it, don't watch it because you will. Honestly, it's something. Um, anyway, so uh, it's nice to be back with you. And uh, nice to have you back. But can we get your your vote? You're a bit young, but would you know young. of the Golden Shot or Sale of the Century? Oh, you know, I used to love both of them. Um, Sale of the Century was good, I suppose, but Golden Shot, I think, will be the winner. Golden okay. Will be the winner. I, and like uh, Tom just said about how frustrating it was 
the up and down bit, you know, it's like, wow, that was so crazy. When it was great suspense, amazing. Um, they don't make TV like they used to, do they? So, they don't. No, no. So when I look at the Mars Singer, I sometimes wish they did. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it's all kicking off on the chat about the Mars Singer. <laughs> Kim likes it. Yeah. And Debbie says it's funny, so I better keep out of it. It is funny. I, t I tell you what, though, um, just briefly, I, um, of course, I would never have ever watched any of these programs if I was gigging because Saturday nights I was always on the road, you know. So now I'm um, resigned to being a couch potato on Saturday nights. I'm getting to watch this stuff. And uh, and the voice, man, there's the fan some fantastic people. Great talent out there. It's absolutely amazing. Um, makes me even more eager to get back out and prove what I can do. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It inspires you to do better. Well, we should get out of your way. Jeanette will count up the votes. Um, oh, it's kicking off. Sandy likes the Masked Singer too. Um, <laughs> Pauline likes it only to watch to see who they are at the end. Annie says it's a bit strange. Not really a fan. That's my family. That's my family right there, yeah? Representing, representing. Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to sing us another song. We're delighted he's with us. He's the wonderful Cliff as it. Hey, we're back. I hope, I hope we're still here. Anyway, here we go. Now is a nice little ditty called Travelling Light. Here we go. Ready? Well, I got no bed and baggy shoes. Slow me down. Oh, I'm traveling searching a river, traveling light, traveling light. Well, I just can't wait to be with my baby tonight. I got no comb, got no toothbrush, I got nothing to hold. I'm carrying on a pocket full of dreams, a heart full of love. They weigh nothing at all. Soon I'm gonna see the love, love rise. Cause I'm a moon and a hollow away from where? Paradise. Traveling life. Traveling life. Well, I just can't wait to be with my baby tonight. Cause I got no comb, got no toothbrush. Well, I got nothing to hold. I'm carrying only a pocket full of dreams, a heart full of love. They ain't nothing at all. Soon I'm gonna see the love, love. Cause I'm a hood in a hollow away from paradise Traveling light Yes, I'm traveling light Well, I just can't wait to be with my baby tonight No, I just can't I'm traveling live. Woo! Thank you very much. Thank woo, you. woo, woo, indeed. Cliff as if, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Cliff as if, coming live from Norfolk. It's Norfolk, isn't it? It is Norfolk, yes. Beautiful Norfolk. Sunny Norfolk today. Yes. We had a bit you know of you're getting here. the snow this weekend, don't you? A lot of snow this weekend. Oh, don't say that, please. So really? I'd, I'd rather watch The Masked Singer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll definitely be stuck in your house. Are we all getting it, Jeanette? Did we all order it? Because yes. I didn't order yeah. it. I did, but not necessarily for Sunday. It's going to snow overnight, Saturday night in Colchester, and it's going to be heavy snow. So Sunday is going to be playing in the snow day. It's going to be yeah. cold, Chester. Cold, Ooh, Chester. Very I good. I see what you did there. there. I like that. He's a wise guy. 
Thanks, Cliff. As if you've got one more song to go, we look forward to it. Thanks for singing. We're just going to announce the result of the uh, Vintage TV Show of the Week. Oh, yes. <clears throat> right. Um, Jeanette. Drum roll. Uh, We're going to do that was a bit like drum and bass roll. But here we go. And the winner this week of Vintage TV Show of the Week is. The golden shot. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> Consider it's not a surprise, we... is it? <laughs> no. No. The golden shot, Bob Monkhouse. Wherever you are, Bob, um, he'd be well pleased. He'd be well chuffed. His legacy continues. The golden shot is the winner of the Vintage TV Show of the Week. Yay! Yeah, the right show won. Um, Jeanette, uh, Annette asks, are we getting it in Sussex, the snow? Uh, well, my um, weather friend, who actually uh, does study the weather quite in depth, he gives um, little Facebook messages here and there, and he did a map of the country, and it was most of the map was blue, but then there were some real green areas, and um, the green is a lot of snow, like you know, ten inches and more. The blue areas are kind of five inches and more. And it was over most of the country, but not down to um, like Cornwall and Devon and stuff like that. Okay. Up north, it's a lot, lot worse. But even down as far as Colchester, we get a bit of that. So, up Annie, up that five is, inches of snow. Annie, that's the warm and toasty weather forecast for you. Hello. Is that, is that, is that Jeanette's extra new spot? Yeah. yeah I think so. be, I would have to have my Mike Freeman. We need a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> I need a jingle, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jeanette's weather of the week. Oh, she's uh, not shy and she's not weak. Meek. Facebook Jeanette. may have gone off. Um, oh, has Facebook taken us off? I don't know. It just let's go back. back. It's still rolling answer. here. No rolling on mine. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Is it? Mine, rolling, rolling, <laughs> rolling. <laughs> Got to oh, keep no. on rolling. I don't know if we're still live. We're going to keep going because it's showing that we're keeping going here. If Cliff can hear this, I'm going to read out some of the comments. Great singing. Good singing, I should say, from Brenda. Great entertainment from Elmi. Great singer, says Sandra. Pauline says, soon we'll be travelling. Hopefully next year. Maybe sooner, the way the vaccinations are going, Pauline. You never know. You never know. We live in hope. Carol says she'll be travelling light when she gets out of this prison. She's not in actual prison. If you watched last week's show, you'll understand. Um, Kim says, lovely song. Um, Tracy says, hi, can uh, Sam, can Manad send me a photo? She took means Jeanette. She oh, means Jeanette. Jeanette further down, isn't it? Yeah. Jeanette, can you send a photo to Tracy of the photo you took on her doorstep? Oh, oh, hi, gosh, Tracy. I'm so hi, sorry, Tracy. Tracy. I said I'd do that. I completely forgot. I'm going to write it down this time. That'll happen. Yep. Uh, no surprise, says Sandra on the, the, the TV show of the week. Kim says, Jeanette, you could become the weather forecaster. She could. <laughs> so I only with the help of my friend Mike Freeman. He's right um, on the nail. Still okay here and still getting it. And uh, Brenda says, you're very versatile, you're warm and toasty. Oh, no, we deliver. We're not going to do the news, but we'll do the weather. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Debbie's loving it. And Annette says, Jeanette, you're brilliant. Thanks for the weather forecast. Oh, there you go. You are so good at everything. Uh, and a thanks from Tracy. Right. It's your poem of the week, is it not? Let me get to the jingle. I've got all at a flap. I must apologize for the um for the uh technical issues we've had this week. I couldn't even think of what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the poem of the week. It's poem of the week. It's sometimes short and sweet. It's poem of the week, and it's always man in feet. Well, um, poem of the week this week. Um, I'm thinking about the weather and the months and the, the differences in each of the months. And I came across this poem, and I really like it. It's called The Months by Sarah Coleridge. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. March brings breezes loud and shrill, stirs the dancing daffodil. April brings the primrose sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. May brings flocks of pretty lambs, skipping by their fleecy dams. 
June brings tulips, lilies, roses, fills the children's hands with posies. Hot July brings cooling showers, apricots and gilly flowers. August brings the sheaves of corn, then the harvest home is born. Warm September brings the fruit, sportsmen then begin to shoot. Fresh October brings the pheasant, then to gather nuts is pleasant. Dull November brings the blast, then the leaves are whirling fast. Chill December brings the sleet, blazing fire and Christmas treat. That's The Month by Sarah Coleridge. I hope you like that. I think they've got the seasons a bit mixed up at the moment because it's supposed to be thawing in February and now we're just about to get the snow. That was very lovely, very lovely. And you got the snow in as well. I did. <laughs> yeah. Very topical. Just, this isn't just thrown together, this show. It's not by accident. It's by design. Exactly. So this week, I, I, I don't know what's gone on. It's not been a classic show, but luckily there's people like Jeanette who's saving the day, I think. With her <laughs> web... but you're saving my day. I've had a very funny couple of weeks, but yeah, this is lovely. I like this. This is normality yeah. for me now. Well, like Jeanette, I feel it's an absolute tonic doing this show. You know, we do it to reach out to you and, and you know, we're a bit show-offy. Well, me and Jeanette aren't, less so Tom, yeah. bless him. Um, <laughs> But, but it is a real pleasure to do this show and it's a real pleasure to connect. And when we couldn't get on at first, because Facebook was being a bit funny, um, I was a bit worried that we're not going to be able to reach you. And I got a bit I got a bit sad and it kind of threw me because um, I know that I'm talking to a TV screen and a camera on the TV, on a computer screen, I should say. But it means the world to me to be able to connect. And I know it does to Tom and Jeanette. Um, we're glad you're out there and glad you've persevered with us today because it was a bit of a disaster darling to start with um let's see what they're saying about Jeanette um lovely jingle Jeanette says Brenda there we go Jeanette great poem blast from the past um Elmi says really like your poems Jeanette and she oh, even puts a kiss nice. on the end as well which is nice um oh, and it says such a lovely voice for poetry <laughs> two kisses two kisses Oh, I like that. I could take all I can get at the moment. Bring, bring on the love. <laughs> uh, Christine says, beautiful. Loved it, Jeanette. Jenny says, lovely, Jeanette. Yes, the seasons are cockeyed these days. That's an old word, isn't it? Cockeyed. I haven't heard that for a while. I won't tell you where I last heard it. Um, <clears throat> lovely poem, Jeanette. Um, Brenda says, it's a pleasure to see you all. Like with everyone, they feel the same. Um, Debbie says, Jono, you are connecting. Uh, good to hear it, Debbie. It's good you're connecting to us. Um, you are doing a good job, um, a great job. Well done. Big thank you from Rosanna. Ah, oh, thanks, Rosanna. Um, it's horrible when it goes a little bit, you know, the show's a bit like the wheels are going to fall off at any moment, and it's meant to be like that. We do plan <laughs> things, but it's meant to be a bit chaotic. Um, but when we can't connect, that's the hardest thing. So we will be looking at it in the coming week and hopefully we can continue it on Facebook. If we fail, we'll have to take it onto another medium and invite you to join us. But um, we're not gone yet. That was a lovely poem from Jeanette. And I'm just going to find Mr. Cliff as if and I'm going to bring him back for his last song. Where is he? There he is. Oh, <laughs> how does he do that? Oh yeah, I see. Oh, it's a young Cliff. <laughs> it's a young Cliff. This is a it's a clue to my last song. Oh, bless you. Um, um, that was lovely poem, Jeanette. Well done. It's beautiful. Really thank great. you. It's very kind of you to say that, Cliff. Very nice. Um, and I like your singing. I like what you're doing to the songs to keeping to keep them from stopping us being taken <clears> off of air. Lovely. And their first song was number one when I was born. So I particularly oh. liked the first one. Oh, um, that's, I've, um, 19, yeah. 1942, was it? <laughs> yeah, 1980s. <laughs> what can I say? Sorry, Cliff, what was you going to say? Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, we put you off. We put him off. <laughs> put him off his stride. That's Tom. <laughs> so, go back to Bob Monkhouse. For a second yeah. one of the jokes was um he said uh i told my parents when i get older i'm going to be a comedian and they laughed at me but they're not laughing now 
Didn't he, um, didn't he collect like an encyclopedia amount of jokes and he just knew so many? And someone stole it. Oh, no. really? But he did get it back, apparently. Um, obviously, they must be very bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Not laughing now. <laughs> well, let's get out of your way. We're pleased you're with us. Thanks for your patience and your perseverance. It's not been easy to get Cliff as if on today. He's, um, we've had some tef technical difficulties, but he's here. He's with us. He's live. Thanks to Cliff and Tom for sorting it out. We're going to get him to sing you another song. We'll let him tell you all about as we welcome once again Cliff as if. Hey, thank you. Um, so, yes, uh, I hope that the uh, cardboard cutout of Cliff gave you an idea of the last song. So I want to dedicate this to all of you lovely people out there. It's called The Young Ones. Because, you know, age is it's just a number, isn't it? Um, we, As we get older, we kind of, we just mature. And I don't mean like uh, smelly cheese um, or dirty socks, just like a fine wine. That's you and me. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Ready? The young one. Do 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 do. Sing along. Do 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 do. Okay, ready to sing. Here we go. We're the young ones. Darling, we're the young ones, and the young ones shouldn't be afraid to live, love, while the flame is strong, cause we may not be the young ones very long, tomorrow. Why wait until tomorrow? Cause tomorrow, well, it sometimes never comes. So love me. There's a song to be sung, and the best sign is to sing while we young. Okay, everybody, once in every lifetime. Once in every lifetime comes a love like this. Oh, I need you, you need me. Oh, my God, can't you be young dreams? This should be dreams together. Young hearts should be a free. Someday, when the years have flown, darling, then we'll teach the young ones of our own. Do 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 once in every lifetime comes a love like this. Oh, I need you, you need me. Oh, my darling, can't you see your dreams? Stay safe, keep well, and we'll all be back together very soon, I hope. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Cliff. Thank you very much, sir. That was lovely. That was really lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Bye to Brenda, and applause from Brenda. Elmi says, thank you very much. Needed cheering up today, and you certainly did. See you next week. Have a great week, Elmi. Um, and that's us, really. That's us. Cliff, as if, is there anything you need to push or tell us about? I suppose there's not sort of upcoming gigs. Um, there, there is lots. 
planned, but whether they happen or not, I don't know. But there is, uh, of course, the, the, my website, cliffasif.com or Cliff as if, and the golden shadows com as well so um there's plenty out there whether they happen or not who knows the thing yeah. is though, the most important thing and this comes from old cliff and from young cliff is that we just got to keep loving each other yeah and everything will be okay in the end in the end we'll get there in the end so we keep loving thanks for coming on i'll put your um link to your website on uh, Carol says, Will, can't wait to see you back at Enoch House. Well done. I can't wait to be there. I miss it. Applause from both Anne's and Anne Smith says, really enjoyed the show. Thanks, Anne's, for joining us. Um, it's lovely to see you both. Um, Pauline says, we all are the young ones. Hey. <laughs> Sandra says, great. Keith, uh, a regular now. Hi, Keith. He says, thank you. Yay, with lots of hearted faces with hearts in their eyes from Pauline. Um, I don't know how to describe those things, but <laughs> very joyful, I think. I've really enjoyed all of your songs, Cliff, as if, says Kim. Thank you. Another great show. Thank you to Jono, Jeanette, Tom. Have a great week. You too, Kim. Thanks for being with us. It means a lot. Um, and Annie says, thanks, everyone. Good show as usual. And thank you. All my friends for a lovely afternoon. Keep keep safe. See you next week. Well, that's us. Thank you, Cliff as if for being thanks. with us. Um, thanks for Tom and Jeanette. I'm gonna roll us off the screen in a second as we get the end credits. But um, if it goes off, it goes off. Apologies that uh, the show was run by steam this afternoon, but next week we're hoping to get electricity fitted. We'll be back one o'clock. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure being with you. It really is a tonic for the week. Thanks to Cliff as if and the guys, and we'll get you off the screen. I'll put up the credits as I'm talking. They will disappear slowly. Cliff will wave. I'll bring the outro credits on. If it disappears and goes off, we love you. Have a great week. We've all got a tale to tell. Times were not always so. But putting it all aside, we made it through. By and by, it's warm and toasty in here. Share our laughter, sometimes tears. You'll be welcome with a cup of tea and a biscuit, maybe two or three. Da -da -da -da. Wrapped in a little white cloth, da -da -da -da. cooking for hours in the old iron pot. Da -da -da -da. There's a jam, roly poly for tea. Enough for you and dad and grandma and me What did we like the most? Fish paste sandwich or peas on toast Nothing could come close To bubble and squeak the day after our Sunday 